The IG report focused mainly on the Clinton email investigation, yeah. but all of the same major players that are that are mentioned in the IG report ended up being a lot of the main players, at least at the start, in the, the Trump-Russia investigation that was launched. So that wasn't covered in the IG report very much, although it's my understanding that's perhaps coming. that that's coming as well. There are other reports they're working on. They're working on whether Comey, uh, you know, leaves classified information. And the Inspector General confirmed that. That's an investigation going on. The one that I really am, uh, I think, is, is going to be important for us all to see is when he does his report on potential abuses of the FISA process, where that's where we'll get into. Because this is, remember, Peter Strzok, Deputy Head of Counterintelligence, and we know that the FBI took the dossier. They dressed it all up, took it to the FISA court, um, and used it to get a warrant to spy on a fellow American. And when they went to the court, they didn't tell the court two important facts. Number one, they didn't tell the court who paid for the dossier, the Clinton campaign. And just as importantly, they didn't tell the court the guy who wrote the document, Christopher Steele, had been fired by the FBI because he was out leaking information. So you and I go to court, Jerry, we, we got to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The FBI should have to do the same darn thing. And they didn't do it when they went to the FISA court. And never forget, this is a secret court where you get secret warrants to go spy on people. They didn't tell them important information. And so that's the kind of stuff that I want to I want to see that report when Mr. Horowitz completes it on what kind of abuse took place in the FISA application, FISA process when they went to the to the court. And uh, actually on that issue, that that's something that Judicial Watch has actually been fighting for as well. We we filed FOIA lawsuits for the FISA applications, FISA warrants the hearing transcripts, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court decision. So yep. it's definitely something that we're in, in court battling for as well. Let's, let's take just one really quick step back. So what we know now about the alleged FISA abuses and that sort of thing is very different than maybe what we knew even just, uh, just a year ago. So can you just give me, a, give me a brief sort of summary on you know, the, the dossier and now sort of the problems with it and the problems with the, you know, what we know now and then what, what, what are we still trying to find? What is still left to know? Well, uh, you, you're right. The, the best thing we could do is for them to give us the application. Now, yeah. they're going to say classified and, and I, I get that, but members of Congress have a clearance as well. We're the Judiciary Committee. I said on the Judiciary Committee, we have primary jurisdiction over the Justice Department. Constitutionally, we're supposed to do oversight of the Justice Department. If, in fact, the Justice Department did what I just described, and everything points to the fact that they did, if they took a opposition research document that was paid for by the Clinton campaign, who paid the law firm, who paid Christopher Steele, who most likely paid Russians to get that information, if that was the, the, the information they took to the court and didn't tell the court that payment process, who was all behind it, and then also didn't tell the court that the guy who wrote it, Christopher Steele, that's important information. So we, we need to find out if in fact that happened and it sure looks like it did. So that to me is the biggest concern. There's also the concern that we've had with overall with the FBI and the DOJ of not just giving us other information. There's two subpoenas. Chairman Goodlatte, Chairman Nunes have issued subpoenas to the Justice Department that they have not complied with. We have caught the FBI hiding information from us. We use the, the example of we caught the uh, FBI in the documents they gave us redacting in a conversation between Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. They redacted the, the conversation where they discussed Peter Strzok's friendship with Judge Contreras, one of the FISA court judges, who also happened to be the federal judge who presided over Mike Flynn's case. Why was that? That's not classified. That's, they just didn't want us to know because it was embarrassing information. They were trying to, trying to hide it from us. And then finally, what we've caught the Justice Department doing, according to news accounts, is Rod Rosenstein, head of the Justice Department on this whole area, was threatening staff members on the House Intelligence Committee. That is as wrong as it gets as well. So all this just underscores why we need to get the information you guys are looking for, we're looking for, so we can get answers.